This is chapter 8-1, Racial Proportions. Please copy your cuts. Okay. We're going to begin with a little review, um, simplifying fractions. Hopefully you will uh, remember. Okay. First of all, ratios are just a comparison. When I compare two or more items, okay, apples, when I compare how many apples to how many oranges, or how many boys in the class and how many girls in the class. So a ratio is going to be comparison of uh, two or more items. I can also compare more than that, of course, because of the word more. So if I'm comparing boys to girls to teachers or adults in the building, in that case I will be comparing three things. So a ratio compares two or more items, okay? And we need to remember that ratios can be written three different ways. I can write ratios, number one, with the colon, three colon five. There are three um, apples to five oranges. Number two, I can also write a comparison or a ratio with the word two. There are three apples to five oranges. Okay, or however I want to say, three girls to five boys. The third way I can write a ratio is a fraction, three over five. Three girls for every five boys, or three to five. So I can write a comparison with a colon, the word two, or as a fraction. Those are the three ways I write it. So I might ask you to simplify old school. I might have these four fractions, 12 sixteenths, 15 twentieths, 42 40 ninths, and 14 56, and both are inches. Now if I'm comparing these or doing these, I look at the first one, 12 sixteenths. I ask myself, what's the greatest common factor of the GCF? And the greatest common factor of this is going to be 4. So it means I divide whatever I do to the numerator. Remember, you've got to do to the denominator. And okay, that's back sixth grade um, math. So what I do to the numerator, I do to the denominator. And I see the greatest common factor is 4. So that means if I divide the numerator by 4, I denominate. also divide the denominator by the same um, unit or number, I should say. And 12 divided by 4 gives me 3. 16 divided by 4. So this fraction simplified, not reduced, but simplified. 12 sixteenths is equivalent to 3 fourths. Same thing with number 2. 15 twentieths. If I want to simplify it, and a lot of people say reduce, simple, I like the word simplify, which I'll get into later, perhaps. The greatest common factor of 15 and 20 is 5. So if I divide the numerator by 5, I did not divide the denominator by 5. 15 divided by 5 will be 3. 20 divided by 5 is going to be 4. So this will also be 3 fourths simplified. And then I'll look at number 3, 42, 49. So GCF will be, in this particular case, it looks like it could be what? 4, 7. What could it potentially be here? I see a 7 here. Is there a 7 there? Does that work? If I have six sevenths on this particular one, it looks like I did what? Divide by seven here, is divide by seven there, that's gonna be seven. Seven, that doesn't look like I did something here, I goofed here and something. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm gonna look at this one in just a minute, it's gonna come in a second here. I'm gonna jump to number four and come back to number three. Number four is 14 inches by, uh, divided by 56 um, inches, okay, and it looks like 14 evenly goes into both. If I divide the numerator by 14, it means I did not divide the bottom as well by 14. 14 into 14 leaves one inch. 56 by 14 is going to be um, four. And the units will remain one-fourth um, of an inch is going to be for both of those, okay? Jumping really quickly back here. Seven and seven. Seven times six is going to be seven. Um, seven times six, excuse me, is going to be 42. So that means that they're both divisible, both the numerator and denominator by seven. 42 divided by seven will leave us with six. 49 divided by seven is going to be seven. So six sevens will be simplified. Okay? Well, what happens if. 
I have different units. For example, let's say I'm supposed to simplify 12 centimeters or 4 meters. For a lot of us, we say, oh, let's simple. Let's just go ahead and do 12 over 4. Let's divide both by 4. Well, we have to look at these units. They're not the same. Therefore, you cannot do that. You have to have the units the same. Whereas in number 4 up here, they were common, so that worked out beautifully. It does not, that's not the case on this next particular problem. So for example, first of all we need to simplify. We have uncommon units of measure. You must get the same unit. So number one, we need either both of these to be centimeters or both of these to be uh, meters. Okay? And when I do this, I want to go to uh, centimeters. So I have 12 centimeters or four meters. I want both of these to be end up in centimeters. That means I have to convert these meters, yes the word convert, meters into centimeters. So here's me thinking to the side. I'm going to draw a little cloud. And I'm going to put these meters, they're going to go to centimeters. And the question is, how many is there? If I have one meter, that's equal to how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. I have to know that conversion. Okay, you can look it up on your phone, on the internet, or what have you, but they have to be the same. Well, if I know that's the case, if I know I have, in this particular case, and this is still part of my cloud, if I have four meters, the question is, how many centimeters is that? Well, what's the rule say? It says for one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So therefore, I have to multiply. That means I'm going to have 400 centimeters. So now I take this number, and I know that 4 meters, 4 meters, 4 meters, 4 meters, 4 meters, is the same as 400 centimeters. So I rewrite this fraction so that I have the same units. Let's say 12 centimeters is equivalent to 400 centimeters. Now I can simplify. Okay. What do I see that goes in both of them without doing any quick, without doing much math? I see four. Four goes into both of these. Twelve into four. How many groups of four and twelve? That will leave me with three. How many groups of four and four hundred? That leaves me with one hundred. Okay, it'll be centimeters over centimeters. And these will actually drop out and just leave us with three one hundreds. Just like at the top. Inches over inches will drop out, and that would have been left with one fourth because the units were the same. Because the units are the same, I can cancel them. Okay? Because the units are the same here, I can cancel them. I can do this here. Let's look at the next one. Six feet to um, 18 inches. Six feet to 18 inches. And the question is, do I want everything to be all feet or all inches? Okay? I want everything to be all in inches. So that means I'm going to change this one here. Here's my little cloud. Okay? And I have to think to myself, how many one foot is equal to how many inches? And it's 12. Okay? With that being the case, if I know I have six feet, the question is, how many inches is that? Six times 12 is going to be 72 inches. Therefore, now I can come in here and I can substitute, place this in quickly by going 72 inches is the same as 18 inches. Okay, what's the greatest common factor of both of these simply? Well, it looks like a 6 will go on both of these, so if I divide both of these by 6, divided by three leaves is with four. Four over one or just four. Okay, and that is part one of your eight one video.